welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Haley and today I am so excited for today's video because we're gonna be talking about the new like trend that has kind of like taken over my for you page and I think maybe the world no I'm just kidding but um my friend tagged me in this about a week ago and ever since I have not been able to stop like seeing it and I'm so excited because it is such a cool trend so obviously by the title of this video you know I'm talking about the coastal cowgirl aesthetics slash trend slash like fashion style for summer and summer because you can wear it all year round but I noticed that these trends really come into like fruition kind of around summertime spring summer I think people are getting really excited about like the summertime so they're like thinking about what they're wearing and this trend has been coined I'm not sure by who definitely not by me um, but I wanted to make a video about it because last year I talked about the coastal granddaughter and I made some videos about it on here and on TikTok and everyone loved them and I love them and this is pretty much an extension of the coastal like granddaughter grandmother coastal vibes but with spice is what everyone's calling it we're getting spicy this summer I'm in Australia so it's actually our winter here but I'm going to Europe for summer so I fully intend to embody this aesthetic while I'm over there not only because I have actually been wearing stuff like this for years like I went through my camera roll from the past couple years and pretty Pretty much like so many of my outfits are coastal cowgirl so it's something that's come very natural to me and like I said about the coastal granddaughter it's just something I live by the coast I dress like this naturally it's what I love so for me it's not so much a trend or an aesthetic but it's an easy way to identify a style that you're interested in and a community of people that also like that style so if you're trying to search for outfits for the summer and you really like this that's why like it's good to have trends and aesthetics and names for things you don't have to like follow it There's there's no rule book you can make your own rules you can do whatever you want but a lot of people have said that they really enjoy having these like names like coastal cowgirl coastal grandmother like 90s aesthetic that kind of thing because it allows people to find like it's searchable communities find like what they want to wear um, and different ideas so yeah this is my like breakdown of the coastal cowgirl aesthetic <laughs> for summer 2023 now let's get into it so I definitely plan on doing a whole like outfits video for the coastal cowgirl um, aesthetic but in today's video I wanted to share with you guys like all the things you might need to add into your wardrobe and this is obviously not a need this is something that you might want to if you're really interested in this coastal cowgirl aesthetic or just things that you might already have in your wardrobe but you might want to like pull out in regards to creating like a coast coastal cowgirl outfit if that makes sense I'm not telling you to buy any of these things you certainly don't need to you can thrift like 90% of them or like for me these things have already always been in my closet but now I'm going to be pairing them a little bit differently styling them a little bit differently and just like you know being more intentional about putting outfits together that like are around this aesthetic because I love it I think it's so cute so things that I haven't necessarily styled before I'm gonna style together so I'm really excited um, so I've got a list of things that if you're looking to like create or like kind of merge like maybe a little like capsule coastal cowgirl wardrobe that might be inside your already existing wardrobe these are the pieces that I would look out for in your wardrobe or at the thrift store wherever um, to yeah create the coastal cowgirl aesthetic the first two are of course very self-explanatory cowgirl hat I actually have one coming in the mail but this is my like straw hat <laughs> that I've had for a while it's not exactly a cowgirl hat but you know it can it can do the trick um, for now but I do have like a proper one coming that's a bit more comfy that I want to take to Europe with me so I'm really excited but yeah definitely some kind of straw hat it's gonna really mess up my hair and of course cow girl boots so I've had these for years like seriously years at least over two years probably three um, and I love them and I recently been wearing them all the time like I have swapped out like any like I used to if I were to go out for the night like go out um, for dinner or even clubbing or whatever 
not that I do that often but like I used to just wear I don't know like my white runners or something like a pair of like black boots but like now I wear these and it makes all my outfits feel so cute I wore these to my birthday party I just wear them all the time because I feel like the perfect accessory and I've told you about these before in recent videos you can go back and just, I'll show you that I've been wearing these for a while so to me cowgirl boots have just been a staple in my wardrobe they're the perfect black boot they're just spicier than like a normal pair of black boots so of course those are the self-explanatory items <laughs> to be a, a coastal cowgirl but here are the more like refined and maybe things that you probably already have in your wardrobe um, because those ones might be the two things that if you don't already have you might need to like go and source but these are the things that I think you probably will have in your wardrobe some kind of like beaded necklace this one I've been wearing for about a year as well it's so cute it's from arms of Eve and it's got all these cute little beads on it and has a H for obviously <laughs> my name Haley but um, I love it if you're looking for some arms of Eve have the cutest ones and I just feel like accessories like that some kind of like pearl accessory I feel like that's very coastal but also it's giving cowgirl like something about it is giving cowgirl as well I really think some kind of like jewelry like this I also have been wearing like this bangle for me I just feel like it's giving like cowgirl as well i don't know why but i love it so accessories like that um especially beads like something about beaded necklaces very coastal very cowgirl i love it next are vests again this is something that i've been including into my wardrobe for a while and i've talked about in a lot of previous videos how much i love vests and it's only just like dawned on me that it's so like cowgirl it's so cowgirl but the vests I go for like yes I've got a denim vest and I'll wear it with like my linen white skirt but I also wear it with jeans and then I'm like that is so like so cowgirl but also I've got little like knitted vests I love them so any kind of vests especially like the knitted ones like scream coastal but they're also of course so cowgirl this is where I feel like this aesthetic is just like so good together it just works so well so yeah I definitely would encourage like investing in some vests I'm sure if you're like me you've probably already done that and you probably already have some in your wardrobe just because I feel like vests have been trending and now it's like oh they fit into another aesthetic which is really cool <laughs> this is probably gonna be controversial but like low-rise loose baggy jeans I don't really wear like my low-rise jeans that often but I do love them and I just feel like they're so like cowgirl-esque um, I know if you think about like a traditional cowgirl it's usually like flares but I think the low rise is more coastal low rise and baggy are more coastal but they still like the denim just is so like Western to me it's so cowgirl so it really makes that mix and if you pair it with like a linen blouse or something like that to me that is really really um, coastal cowgirl something else that I have in my wardrobe that I feel like realizing to pair with a straw hat or like my cowgirl boots is anything silk or satin I think that silk or satin is giving like coastal very very like easy breezy like walk on the beach go to dinner by the coast kind of vibe and then the cowgirl is just like this little ooh, like pop of something to like take the outfit from I don't know like really classy to a bit more like I don't know spicy I guess um, but it definitely changes the vibe and I think the vibe is immaculate <laughs> so I would I just love pairing like really silky items with kind of more like the boyish style of like a cowgirl like boot um, so yeah I love that combination I think a huge part of my wardrobe that I think aligns with like the cow coastal cowgirl is linens like this shirt it's giving kind of like <laughs> It's giving, uh, you know, pirate vibes, but it also, when paired with like cowgirl boots, is giving very like country so I think linens are really nice um, when you pair it with like a straw hat or your boots 
or just like a vest over top of it it's so cute and yeah i really really love it you don't have to wear cowboy boots and a cowgirl hat with everything um you just don't i think linens and like a little vest would totally give off the same vibes with birkenstocks um so it's more about the vibe it's more about the what you're feeling but again if you just want to go simple i would just wear the cowgirl hat with like anything like anything and you're good like bikini coastal cowgirl so easy so simple um and people have been doing this for a while so yeah i love it something that screams like summer on the ranch but also summer by the coast are flowy maxi skirts dresses i have seen a lot of these and they just look super like it just really blends the two styles together very coastal very like summer cowgirl and together it's just so cute so i definitely i'm sure we all have those flowy dresses in our wardrobe and now you kind of like can put it in a little like space and you're like oh yeah this is my coastal cowgirl outfit like i don't know there are things that you probably like these dresses are probably things you've had but you might not have thought to pair them with a cowboy hat or cowboy boots and now you just feel a bit more like oh this makes sense this works so well together <laughs> again i think what is really cool about this aesthetic is pretty much anything you wore if you were into the coastal granddaughter grandmother coastal chic vibe is gonna fit with this um so like oversized anything oversized it's like wearing like your cowboy boyfriend's shirt <laughs> Um, and I just think it's super cute. So anything oversized, button-ups, really, really um, like essential in your wardrobe. And I think since you probably already have them, it's just so easy to transition into this like new aesthetic. You don't have to buy anything. They're things that you probably already have or are really easy to source. So yeah. And the thing that I've noticed about these items is like when the aesthetics change, when the trends change, we go from coastal granddaughter to coastal cowgirl we'll go to something new soon like it's just i don't know we're just ever evolving but these items like stay consistent you just style them slightly differently so i think that's what's so cool about having like these core pieces these timeless pieces is that you can rewear them in all the different aesthetics and trends because it's not necessarily about the item itself if the item is timeless then you just style it a slightly different way and i think that's really really cool so that's why i love investing in my oversized like button downs because time and time again i'm like styling it differently and they just are so keep rolling with the trends and i really really love it and another thing that i think is like going to be huge with the coastal like cowgirl is anything knit and i've seen this for a while like knit maxis, knit skirts, um, knit tops, like little crochet things. Like that is so a part of this trend. It works so well and looks so cute. So I totally see this becoming really, really big. And it's something I have started investing in in my wardrobe. I've got several knit dresses now and I love them. So many knit tops. It just looks really, really cute. And I really love them and they go really well um, with this coastal cowgirl aesthetic, which is really cute. I think again, like the items that have been trending, like the long denim maxi skirts, that fits in the coastal cowgirl so well. And it's just so interesting that these things have like already been trending and maybe that's why people are like, oh my gosh, this all looks a certain way. Like the Canadian tuxedo, I feel like that's really trending and again, very cowgirl but like styled coastally i just think it's so interesting but it makes sense that that's how people have coined things is because they keep saying seeing these trends and realizing they're all kind of like mixing together into this new like overall aesthetic and i'm so here for it i'm so here for it the last thing i'm going to mention is any kind of like poofy top again i've talked about this in previous videos like ruffles and big collars i feel like that really gives off like the cowgirl-esque like the prairie kind of vibe of the past but also if it's in like linen and flowy material then it also is very very coastal so if you're pairing like this very flowy kind of like the top i'm wearing like linen-y blousey kind of top with denim skirts or you know boots or something like that it just has like this beautiful like uh, collaboration of like textures and feels and vibes so any kind of like really really cutesy puffy um frilly top with any kind of bottoms um 
but mostly I'm thinking like denim um, would just go so well. And even like big skirts, like long florally skirts with like these kind of cutesy tops. Um, it's just so cute and I love it. And I'm so excited to have this aesthetic so I can uh, search for outfits more in the summertime because I'm obviously going to have a capsule wardrobe for my Europe trip. I'm going for three months and there's only so much I can bring. So to have this aesthetic is gonna be super helpful for that. Um, um, just so I know what to look for, what pieces all go together. It's just like this one kind of overall idea and so many things go into it well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm going to do a styling video very soon on how I style these outfits and different outfit ideas for you guys. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Habits of Haley, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!